Hi and welcome to Survey Research and Design in Psychology, Semester 1, 2010. My name is James Neal and I will be the convener, lecturer and tutor for this unit so you'll get to know me pretty well. What I'll do in this session is go through the unit outline and uh, highlight the key points for you. Uh, this is a, thir a third year level unit and it carries on from experimental psychology, the second year uh, unit. Some of you will be co-enrolled uh, in the two units and if you are please let me know who you are in the tutorial so that I can uh, keep an eye out for you and make sure that you're uh, able to keep up. Uh, the main focus of this unit is on survey based research and that is a different research technique as we'll hear about to experimental psychology and it's a widely used one within psychology. The second emphasis of the unit is on correlational statistical analyses and they include our focus on uh, multiple linear regression and uh, exploratory factor analysis and reliability analysis and then later on in the unit we'll have a look at some advanced ANOVAs. The timetable for this unit uh, involves lectures in weeks 1 to 7, uh, then there's a break in week 8, uh, 4 more lectures week 9 to 12 and a review lecture in week 14. Lectures will usually be recorded by the regular university recording system but I'm uh, doing experimenting with some special sessions uh, such as this this one here because the first lecture didn't record. Uh, then you'll be enrolled in in one of four different tutorials and those tutorials are on Thursday uh, afternoons at 5.30 and Thursday evenings at 7.30. Uh, you will come fortnightly for six tutorials and you'll either be starting this Thursday uh, in week one or next Thursday in week two. So please check the, your timetable to know which one you're in. Uh, the room is 7D4A and if you check Moodle I've sent a message which uh, explains how you can get access to 7D4 outside of uh, tutorial times. It's a good lab to study in and it gives you the door code and um, details about security. Uh, as I said, these lectures will normally be recorded and uh, you should be able to find them through the normal lecture recording system and from time to time I will experiment with uh, making some additional recordings and this is the first of those. You may have also noticed that there's a drop-in tutorial and this is one of the best ways to get face-to-face -face, uh, additional help from me as your tutor and if you come to 7D4 in the hour before tutorials start, 4.30 to 5.30, then I will be there and you can come individually or in small groups. You can come there and simply work on your um, lab report or other parts of the course and uh, I'll be there to help give you any uh, support that you'd like. Uh, the earlier you come in semester, the more of my time you'll get because most people uh, leave things towards the end and the last couple of weeks are usually very busy with uh, lab report questions. Uh, now, I didn't mention earlier my contact details, but there's my email address and you can also message me on Moodle and I'll just show you uh, that. Uh, sorry about all these things that I've left open while I was working out how to do <laughs> screen recordings. Um, so let's go to the site. Actually, um, and I just got to drag you over here. So there's my contact details on Moodle as well. You could just click this button if you like, message via Moodle. If I'm online, I'll get a um, alert, and if I'm not online, it will send that message to my email address. Um, so I look forward to helping you out during semester in whatever way I can. Um, all right. I really, uh, 
Okay, that's about back where we were. Sorry for that. Okay, so the next part is to talk about the schedule. Um, I've talked about lectures and um, uh, tutorials. Uh, as you notice, there's also some quizzes, and we'll talk about them in the context of assessment. This particular schedule uh, you can also find on Moodle, and the nice thing about that is that I'll make all of these hyperlinks so you can click through to any lecture or any tutorial or eventually any, any quiz. And each of those will have their own separate pages. Uh, the unit resources, there's three types of textbooks that uh, you want to get hold of. One is an applied statistics text. Uh, you can use the current HAL, um, that's version 7, but you're fine with any earlier versions as well, and many of you will have version 6 from last year in experimental. Uh, if you want to use an alternative text, that's fine. It should cover at least the correlational techniques and the multivariate techniques, multiple regression uh, and um, exploratory factor analysis, although there's, there's separate readings on those, uh, and advanced ANOVAs. If you're not sure, you can show me your book and I'll, I'll let you know if it's appropriate. SPSS manual, many of you will have Alan and Bennett from second year, and that's fine, you can continue to use that. But people who want to extend their knowledge of SPSS will find that um, an extra one of these books may also be helpful. So uh, you can probably pick some of these up secondhand or relatively cheap or they're in the bookshop uh, new. I use many of the exercises out of Francis uh, in the tutorials and it's got a little bit more in-depth uh, explanation compared to Alan and Bennett. And many students find uh, Palant to be particularly helpful in part because it has some um, APA style write-up examples which are reasonably extensive uh, in that book. And they're also in the library. Uh, you can click on those links to, to go to the library um, catalogue page. And you should have access to some sort of APA style manual. Be aware that last year um, the manual went to version 6 and some of the older APA style guides don't cover version 6. There's only minor variations, but we should be moving to using 6. So if you're buying a new book, Burton 2010 is the book we're now recommending. Uh, if you have an old book, it may be something like Smythe, um, and that's okay. Uh, you can also get guides from the library and on the web. Uh, in labs, please bring a calculator, and um, a, that's, not, that's optional and a data key, a USB key, so that you can store data files and um, output and so on. Unit websites, the main site will be um, through Moodle and you'll find that these links take you off to pages that may be on UC Space, which is the university's wiki, or they may take you to Wikiversity, which is um, the sister of, of Wikipedia for, for learning. Uh, and educational materials.